Hey everybody, Doc MTG here, and today I just want to chill. There's gonna be no booster box operation time, but I got my Battle Bond box. I just want to chill with you guys and open it up on the channel. Man, this box is long. It takes up the whole thing. And if you guys are seeing this, I pre-recorded this on Saturday night. Hopefully, I'm having my booster box battle with Deeds. One of these boxes are going to annihilate him. And yeah, I have to smack talk because, you know, Steeds and I, I think we're one and one. Is that the score? This is going to be the tiebreaker, maybe? But if you guys enjoy content like this, don't forget to be subscribed, hit that like button, ring the notification bell, share the content. It goes a super long way, helping the channel grow. You can also check out the description down below for some more ways to support the channel. I have a question for everybody. What is up with the SKUs on the Battle Bond boxes? Like, they're not like normal. I mean, they're the exact same freaking skew does that mean they came from the same case does anybody have any information on this let me know in the comment section down below but today like i said we're just gonna chill we're gonna open up this box of battle bond slice right there as some rude ass neighbor is upstairs moving chairs along the floor if you guys can hear that we got our oops that blade over there falls, falls like it almost did Fell on a bag, thank god, I almost fell on my foot. Get our little battle bomb box going. Oh yeah. So we're just gonna get these packs out. Oh yeah, let's just chill. Open up some packs. Let's see if we can get some good, good stuff in these packies right here. All right. Slicing this up. I've been painting all day. You guys probably saw the video earlier about the patron stuff. So, it's got a paint on my hands. Uh, can I get past it? Yeah. That's an uncommon. The crowd goes wild! <sighs> all right, does anybody care about the commons from Battle Bond? I don't think so. All right, so commons, uncommon, uncommon, land. Ooh, we got a foil pacifism. It's pretty. And we started off with a sea of clouds. God, I like those lands. They're so cool. It's gonna be fun in EDH. EDH! All right, can we split it? All right, these are all commons. Take a quick little peek through all these. Nothing too crazy. Commons. Token go with the commons. This can go here. And we got it together forever. Together forever till the end. Got a hunted wampus. Heh, <laughs> that's a funny name. Hunted Wampus. Yeesh. Cool name, bruh. These. Hopefully, I can bust your butt. And we got a Scour of Temptation. Another solid card. Not sure how much that's going for. Nauseous Dragon. Phantom Warrior. And Jubilant Mascot. Our commons. Ooh, Sky Shroud Claim is a really good uncommon, actually. So, just gonna pop this over here. Those are always green EDH decks. And what I'm really looking for from the Battle Bond stuff is going to be like doubling season. I think like everybody and their mother's looking for that. Vigor, awesome card. You guys don't know what this card is. This card is so busted for three and triple green. Yeah, you're probably playing this in a mono green deck or a deck that has rampant EDH, but. Get a Elemental Incarnation that has Trample. It's a 6-6 six, six for 6. If damage would be dealt to another creature you control, prevent that damage and put a 1-1 one, one counter on that creature for each one damage prevented this way. Very dirty. It pretty much gives them pseudo-indestructible. And then when Vigor is put into the graveyard from anywhere, shuffle it into your library. This thing just doesn't want to die. Soul Blade Corruptor. We got a pair here. Soul Blade Renewer. Chain Lightning. That's a sweet, sweet uncommon. Got our other commons. Is there another? Nope. Huddle Up. That's a nice assist card. Let me just strain these piles up a little bit because they're getting a little nuts. I know these cards are super slippery because they're Japanese printed. So they'll just slide all over the place. All right. Where is the tab? All right. Not gonna really comment on the packaging because this is like a very Japanese kind of way to make the cards. 
We got our, this is the foil, right? Yeah, foil rare, Burger's maneuver, and we got another bountiful pomade. Land, sick. Gang up, aim high, and enduring scale lord. Commons, and our commons, is there any? Nope. Not even gonna bother looking at that one for the Sour Cream, because I didn't see it. All right. Try to hurry this up a little bit. Oh, we got our first mythic. We got Stunning Reversal. This card is really good. Hey, look, it's Perp. Looks just like him. That scuzzy bastard. All right. I love you, Perp. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> oh, we got another pair of partners. Oh, that's cute. And Fog Bank. Sky Trout Claim. Nope. 36 packs. It's nice that the... What do you call it? The Planeswalker partner pair, you can get them both in the... Oh, whoa, whoa. Talk about telling the future. Whoa! We... <laughs> I was just gonna say, it's nice that the Planeswalker partner pair, you get them both and boom, there you go. So, double mythic. Can't be mad about that. That was uh, just priceless getting both of them at the same time wow 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 oh maybe that's the box i should have saved for these oh well the other one would be just as good that's the one that's gonna have doubling season we got a blood feud bonus round is our rare pretty cool and we got beast within that's a sick uncommon anything else we got assassin strike and cheering fanatic fill with frights all right, so I'm just gonna start stacking these like all together, like over here. Give me one second, guys. I'll probably fast forward while I fix all these piles because these Japanese cards are a pain. All right, so we have our piles. I'm gonna put the rares and mythics here, uncommons. Uh, looks like some uncommons got mixed in here, but it'll be commons, uncommons, rares, mythics, token land, foil, and really good other stuff, like Sky's Proud Claim and Beast Within and stuff like that, Chain Lightning. All right, so we got these two, and we got a last one standing. Pretty cool card. Choose a creature at random and destroy the rest. That is pretty, pretty good. This paired with Enthralling um, Encore, huh, great. Love it. Pulse Marasa, oh, Spare, uh, Spare, 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 really, Spare? Spell Snare. That's a good card. And any of... Uh, I thought it was another... Like, I thought it was Lightning Bolt for a second. I was like, Lightning Bolt's in this set? I don't remember seeing it ever. Let's see if we get any misprints and see if there's some... And, ooh, that's pretty nice. See, Bond Muse. Sick pull. Got these guys here. Battle Mastery. Nothing to really write home about there. Jeez. And, yeah, I know these cards do feel waxy. I know a lot of people are talking about the feel the cards, the extra room in the pack, like, that's normal for, like, Japanese cards, like, guys. But I did see a video recently, looks like we got some partners here, all right, yep, generous patron, like, my patrons are all really generous, and, wait, what? Oh, I thought this was a partner card, no, this is just the one that supports, this is pretty good, actually. I was gonna say, uh, yeah, I saw a video about the insides of these cards, which I'm actually just gonna stop midway and just take this warrior token and rip it. Yeah, they're double bonded. Insane. Wizards. What the hell? What the hell is this, wizards? What the hell is that? Why? Why? One second. I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm gonna grab another token from, like, Dominaria or something. Here we go. So I got this. Sapperling? No line. Nothing. Why are you doing this, Wizards? Why are you, like, changing the print process? Don't you realize if you keep doing that, like, nobody's gonna care. Everybody's just gonna get counterfeits, because at that point, you guys printed the card in so many different ways that it doesn't really matter. I mean, really? Like, why would you put, like, never mind, whatever. Rambling. What the flip? Oh, there's a foil. I can't even tell. Foil Spell Weaver Duel. And Thrilling Encore is not enthralling. Thrilling Encore. That's the card that pairs well with that other rare card. Nothing really notable in... Oh, we got partners. And uncommons. It's pretty cool. 
But yeah, the one notable thing about the cards, just like every Japanese card, they are slippery as heck. Has anybody opened up any Battle Bond yet to get anything really crazy? Is there a God Box out there? That's what I want to know. You guys got to let me know. Victory Chimes would be very nice. We got a pair. Blaring Recruiter, Blaring Captain, and we got Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath. And nothing notable in the comments. Yeah, let me know in the comment section if there's any God Boxes, any videos for God Boxes, because, you know, I'm all about, I need to see it to believe it. And we got a pair of rares here. Partners, we got the Bright Flame and the Bright Spear. Played them in Two-Headed Giant Draft, and this is pretty crazy. Play this first, no, not play this first. Play this first on turn six, and then get this and play them both, and then just go to town. Oh, yeah. Juggernaut, Savage, Shambling Ghoul, and the rest of the gang. Nothing too spicy. Haven't seen... Actually, you know what's funny about these? I haven't really seen any miss... Oh, yes! It is a Lantax. Ooh, look at it. I actually like this art a lot, too. Got Lantax. Another Mythic. Goes to the pile. I'm gonna say, one thing I've noticed is... The print quality is pretty pretty decent. Like, there, I haven't seen any misprints. I haven't seen any misprints in anybody else's boxes. Or anything like that. Do you guys see any misprints? What the heck? I thought it was in a different language for a second. That's sick. All right, we got a legendary creature, human wizard. One double white. Tap it, exile. Oh yeah, this is one that exiles target permanent. You exile this and a permanent. You can abuse that in some kind of way. Peregrine Drake, pretty cool, EDH card. Did this get downshifted? Did this get downshifted? Somebody let me know if this got downshifted. Um, Sweet. Yeah, print quality is pretty good. Alright. I actually don't enjoy the the extra room in the back of Sentinel Tower. Sorry, rare. Oh, Swords of Plowshare. Sweet. That thing's probably been printed so many times, it probably costs like 50 cents now. I remember when that thing used to be like 2-3 bucks. But it feels like in every supplement set that they printed, Conspiracy, Conspiracy 2, Take the Crown, they've printed Source of Plowshare. Apocalypse Hydra, Trumpet Blast, Fumble, and Veteran Explorer. Midnight Guard, fan favorite, Saddleback Legak. Gotta love my Saddleback Legak, Giant Lizard. Yeah, finding this little peel tap thing is actually quite difficult looking through the lens. We got a Fertile Ground Foil, and we got Pim's Whim. It's our rare Lay Weaver, Floor Weaver, Blood Feud. And nothing in the commons. I think I'm just going to have to organize these piles after so I can hurry this video up a little bit. Ooh, Diabolic Intent. Look at that. Loving this art. This is a really good card. Diabolic Intent. Got a few other jabronis. And yeah, nothing of note. I think we've only pulled three, four mythics because of the pair, partner pair. Seen some really stupid things happening with this spell seeker, but that's a good card. And it's so weird doing this backwards. It's like. Does anybody feel like you can just go, huh, for a video, take this out, be like, okay, we're done. Oh, another mythic. Sweet. Got the Revenant. Vampire Shade. She's really good. Because whenever you tap a swamp for mana, add an additional black to your mana pool. Oh. Looks like a pretty good amount of mythics in this box. Can't be mad ever about having too many mythics. Trying to keep this video at least under, ooh, greater good. I needed one of these for Omnath. If you're wondering why I need one of these for Omnath, I mean, just read it. Sacrifice creature draw, <laughs> power is equal to sacrifice creature's power, then discard three. First of all, I'm sacking an elemental, I'm bolting somebody. They only have three damage to somebody's face or creature. And I'm gonna draw five cards. And after I draw five cards, I have to discard three, totally fine. I don't care, I'm doing what I need to do. 
And it's nice that it doesn't have to, you know, you don't have to pay any kind of mana to, like, really have this happen, besides just paying the four to get it down. And uh, we got a horse guy. Speaking about elementals, here's one. It's a pretty bad one. Got the Quest of the Grave Lord, Juggernauts, Dragon Breath, and the rest of the common gang. Impulse is always nice. Impulse. Impulse is nice, Kakad. Alright. Assassin's Strike and Foil. We got a max. Oh, max. Maximum Confluence. We got a Mystic Confluence. Sweet card for EDH. Think. Oh, another Swords of Plowshare. Sweet. Think I need to rebuild my uh, red, blue, free spells EDH deck. I think so. I think it's about time. Are those wait, is this a foil? The foils are a little like dark. No, it's not foil. Alright, we got the sanction. Sweet, sweet. The friend or foe cards and Ergen Drake. The friend and foe cards and the freaking assist cards are really good. Some pretty political stuff can happen in EDH. And if anybody wants to fact check this, got the Fury. Looks like a bulk uh rare anybody wants to fact check this if you go around oh sky shroud claim if you go around the table and say does anybody want to help me pay for a spell and you have them start tapping their mana and you just go say yeah i'm just gonna end i'm just gonna go to the next phase and rule shark them and say yeah you know what? no you can't untap the line you already tapped it that's pretty messed up pretty messed up we got another foil hex plate golem I actually don't like this thing at all. Pretty, probably pretty good in popper though. And we got a game plan. Therefore, let's go over here. Game plan. Spectre Searchlight, Morbid Curiosity, Blaze, and the rest of the gang. Oh, these pulley type things, man. All right, we got a. Whoa, what the heck? Zender Splits Judgment. Is that German? I'm joking, it's not German. Oh, Sky Trial Claim. It's a good amount of Sky Trial Claims in this box. What are some other hit uncommons from this set? Like, or commons? I don't think I've seen any. Maybe I haven't pulled them. Guafa. Waka, waka, waka. And the rest of the gang, nothing too spicy. All right, time to speed it up. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six packs. Let's see if we can open these six packs in the next two minutes. I'm gonna shut up and show you the cards. All right, Magus of Candelabra, pretty good. And it looks like we got a big fat nothing there. So I think we got five nothings from this box to the partner pair. And, oh, talk about five mythics. Here's another one. 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 And another one. And another one. Uh, Arcane Artisan. And the rest of the stuff here. All right, yeah. All right. I guess I have now realized where the tab is. Oh, one morphic pool. Got another land, it's pretty sweet. Partner pair, valid, and that's it. All right. Tabby is on the top of the word magic. Just so you all know, it's on the top of the word magic. Stolen strategy, pretty nice uh, enchantment here. Being able to play the top card of your opponent's library. Exile neck thing. Oh yeah, exile. Make sure they don't have a Rift Sweeper to try to bring that card back, or whatever card they want to bring back. And we got Angelic Chorus. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Uh, nothing else. Last pack. No rare. I mean, no Mythic Foil, because we got a rare foil. And we got a... Oh, sweet! I actually wanted these. Per and Toofy. Oh, yeah. That's going to be pretty sweet in a Simic deck. We got Genesis Chamber. We got the card that some people don't like. Sorry about that. I have to do it. You have to face your fears. All right, enough of that. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. 
So I'm gonna clean all this up real quick and I'll be right back. So it looks like we got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven foils, including our rare foil. We've got the maneuver over here. We got three of the lands. We got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six mythics, because of the pair. And we got three of pairs of the rare slash mythic guys. Then we got our rares, vigors, our rotation, bonus round, last one standing, Seaborn Muse, some pretty good hits in here. Some bulk, diabolic intent. We got greater good, mythic confluence. Not too bad. Hopefully, my battle with deeds is going a lot better than this box. Hopefully, there's some foil planeswalkers in there. That'd be really nice. Got two Swords of Plowshare, two Peregrine Drakes. Now, the hard uncommons to pull so far that I've seen. You guys can let me know if you have a variance in your box. One Beast Within, one Spell Snare, and one Chain Lightning. Very odd. And then we got three Sky Shroud Claims from our base, uh, basics, from our commons. Are you guys enjoying Battle Bond? I personally say you go sealed and not draft. Draft is super tough. Really tough. Like, you have to know exactly what you're doing as soon as you open the packs. You have to start gunning for a game plan. Because about... You, only, you don't use about 10 cards. 10 to 11, I think. But, if you guys enjoy content, don't forget to be subscribed. And as always, guys, this is Doc MTG saying peace. Forgot this finger.